Hey everybody, welcome back to my, uh, let's see, 25th tutorial in PHP. And in the last tutorial, we opened a connection to the server, but now we're connected and we got nothing to do. So what do we want to do? We want to select a database. So uh, let's go ahead and add a comment called, oops, select database. So it'll just be easier to tell. We know that this is our code to connect to the server. And now we want to select what database we want to use once we're connected. So let's make a variable. Uh, I'm going to call this database, database selected for the, just for ease of use. Set it equal to, and remember, you can name your variable anything you want. Just just uh, stick with that, though. It'll be a lot easier. But this next thing I'm going to type, you need to write it exactly as I do since it's built in PHP code. It's called my SQL underscore select underscore DB. And what this does is the built in PHP code to have my SQL select a database. And you're going to have two parameters in here. The first parameter that you want is the database itself. So my database was called the new bow for the new Boston underscore game. And quotation marks. What the? All right, for some reason my keyboard isn't letting me. Oh, there we go. My mouse was in the way. That's embarrassing. All right, so end the quotation marks. And the next parameter we want to have in here is our variable to connect to the MySQL server. So how easy is this? Just add DBC. And remember, this is built in PHP code to, to connect your database. And it only takes two parameters. The first one is what database you want to connect to. And now that you told it to, it's going to say, all right, give me the information. Give me your password if you want to connect to it. And that we already stored right in here. So how easy is that? This is all we need to connect to our database. So let's go ahead and on the next line, let's uh, just make a simple statement, but a very useful statement to say all right if for some reason um, this variable can't connect and remember the uh, little explanation point means not or opposite all right so it's saying all right if you can't connect then what do we want you to do we want you to send us error so let's go ahead and right first of all we want you to die which means end the code I know it sounds harsh but you know that's how they made it first of all we want you to die and we also want you to send us the message can't connect and then after that we want add a period and that means uh, it's like a plus sign in JavaScript. Just add my SQL error. And this my SQL error, you need to type it. This is another built in code that comes right with uh, PHP. That if there are any my SQL errors, then it's going to output it on the screen for you. So actually, this if statement and this if statement right here, these two, hopefully we have to never use them at all. So hopefully we don't get any errors what these do only if these variables aren't working for some reason they're gonna tell us what the error is so if you wanna leave these out for now that's fine but if something goes wrong you're never gonna know what it is so I highly suggest uh, putting them in so now to overview real quick let's save this we made a variable that connects us to the database Pretty much this is just all of our information. And we're going to say, all right, if you can't do this, then end the code because there's no sense of running it and tell us what the problem is. 
and this down here this is our money maker right here we say alright connect to the database this one right here and then it says alright I'm not gonna let you in until you tell me the password and your username and we says oh we already got it right there but if you can't do that for some reason then die and the code and tell us what the error is so here's all the code one more time make sure you have this type exactly as I do but use your same use your username and password and in the next tutorial we're going to be making a registration script where users are able to put information into our database just from typing it in the website so study this I hope you learned something and I will see you next tutorial thanks